Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Yes, I'm being crafty. I had lots of people comment on her on my Instagram account about my little Halloween doll. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna share with you guys on YouTube how I put her together. Yes, Leedy is being crafty. You're gonna enjoy this, she's fun. Okay guys, I just think it's really fun to create stuff out of things that you have. I'm, I just don't wanna be shopping for anything right now. So I'm using an, a jacket that I, hardly ever wear because I don't go anywhere these days. My mask from last year, hat, two pairs of gloves. I'll show you why. This a little pumpkin that was like from the set of three decided to use one of them. And my lampshade that is broken. Um, <laughs> I really do need to get this fixed. A chair and a pillow. Yes and be creative, use what you've got. I just wanted to show you quickly how I did the gloves to give them some structure. Actually, her name is Rebecca, um, or my granddaughter named her. Anyway, uh, this is a really great way to get some gloves to kind of manipulate them and uh, get them to do what you want them to do. These are brand new. I don't know why I have spots on the inside. Um, I must wash them after this. But uh, this really works. So if you're doing a scarecrow or a doll like her, um, yeah, just put gloves, gloves inside of gloves, and uh, that gives you um, some um, manipulation. You can even put those pipe cleaners inside to bend the fingers if you need to. Uh, just a little uh, crafting hint there. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> I think it's so much fun when you can create something out of stuff that you have around the house. Okay, so here's my mask that I said I bought at Value Village, which would be, um, I don't know what they are in other states, but in Palm Springs, that would be an equivalent to Angel View. And so I just stuck her face on there like that. Look at that. Just to mount it. And I took one, this coat I showed you, and it has a little bit of structure to it. So that was good. And this one really worked for me because it's got snaps as well. There you go. Oh, she's really got to brush her hair. Okay, so because the coat's got a little bit of structure, it's really easy to um, to manipulate it to where I want it. So like make it look like she's got a little bit of a little bit of body happening there, a little bit of structure. There we go. Love this hat. It is so cool. I used to look really good in hats when my hair was long, but not so much now. But it's okay for Halloween. Okay. You guys, while I'm putting this together, if you're new to my channel, um, would you maybe consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up if you would like to join the family? And like I say, I do everything. I'm like a box of chocolates. There is her hat. I think I have it up a little bit higher than I did in the beginning. Now normally you can't see the back of her. All right, so here are the gloves and they did, I did the double gloves. So her left hand. And that's why I did the double gloves, because it just gives a little bit of structure to the outer glove. So I can like give her hands. I love these gloves. I haven't worn them yet. And we decided to go with this little pumpkin and it's got an automatic. It starts, comes on by itself when it gets dark. See how easy her actually, 
make it look like there's some real hands happening here. Ta-da! And there is my homemade girl, and she didn't cost me a penny. Okay, guys, thanks for dropping in. See you later. Bye!